Hello friends and allies and welcome to a new video. In today's video I would like to talk about uh, Zipsoft's new um, money sink or their path to money sink for high levels which I do not really enjoy or like the path they have decided to take. And as always when it comes to development of of the path of Tibia, we will have different opinions, but at least this is my opinion. I hate microtransactions and I hate gambling aspects, which Zipsoft has released now in the winter update and which they have done earlier as well with the Forge. So let's speak about what they released now in the winter update, the gem Atelier. And each vocation have their unique set of gems which they can use. It's either the small one, the medium or the great ones. And they all have um, different values in the market between players. And they also have a different value by Zipsoft when it comes to using them in the temple. And then you have a random chance in getting certain attributes from these gems. And this is 100% random. And in my opinion, this is a sort of microtransactions. And the reason for that is because of the close relationship between Tibia coins and the in-game currency, which you can gain from hunting or by simply selling Tibia coins on the market between players. And the thing which I find, the thing which I find a really big issue with is the idea that some of the attributes which you can gain from the gems is totally useless. So the game development idea is that some of the transaction which you make you will gain really good attributes. So you need to spend money until you gain those attributes which you want. Instead of just paying for the attributes which you want, you need to gamble and have the opportunity to gain items or attributes which you do not really need. In a sense, Zipsoft is deciding to create certain attributes which they know will be useless just to make sure that you need to gamble more or to have a money sink which is deeper. The second thing which I dislike is the forge. Here you have a certain percentage of getting what you want. In relation to the gem atelier, here you at least know what you are getting when you are gambling. The gem atelier is 100% random of what you are getting. So this one I actually prefer over the other one. And a thing to remember is also that the gem and tellier and the forge is end game content. So this is only for the high levels or the ones with a lot of money to spend with a credit card. And in my opinion, and this is my opinion, you can have a different opinion. You like this aspect of gambling with luck. It is an aspect which I can see some people enjoying, I really don't. And I hope that this is not really the future for Zipsoft, where they continue to make uh, um, money sinks with gambling aspects. I think for me it destroys some of the aspects, because I stopped putting in money into the game when they started to put in uh, gambling aspects. Because if I am paying that, that much money, I won't be going to work and then be gambling on getting what I want. I don't mind hunting and playing the game and then gamble with it, but putting in real life money and you might lose it, I will never be doing. Anyhow, this is my opinion. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below what you think about the Gem Atelier and the Forge. Thanks for watching and I hope to catch you guys in the next video.